Coming up next, we're talking about the holiday classic, Home Alone. Hey, comic enthusiasts and pop culture lovers, I'm Ashley. Sup, nerds, I'm Ryan. And together, we are Couple, Couple of, of Nerds. Sup, nerds, and happy holidays. Yeah. We're going to be continuing the festivities by talking about another one of my favorite holiday movies, and that would be Home Alone. All right. So we have a whole bunch of fun facts for Home Alone that we want to tell you about. First up, the director is actually Chris... Columbus, and we actually talked about one of his movies actually a couple days ago, and that would have been Gremlins. Well, that was Chris Columbus, right? Okay. Yeah, we actually he actually did Gremlins, and I believe he also did The Goonies, which we also talked about. And let's see, he also wrote Adventures in Babysitting. Okay. And Mrs. Doubtfire, and I think there was a couple of other ones. And yeah, I think he also directed the first few Harry Potter movies. All right, so definitely has a has his fingers in the right pies here. For well, actually, no, he he helped write some of the script and stuff for the Harry Potter movies, just to add a little bit into there, okay. translate a little bit. But yeah, he was actually in charge of all those. I didn't know that until I was researching for all of this. It's kind of really cool. Me neither. So you're learning the same time I'm learning right now. So this yeah. is kind of cool. And like, here's another cool fun fact: is about the writer, which is John Hughes. Okay. He wrote a lot of other people's childhood favorites and it's from like into the late 80s and just the 80s in general and that would be like you know pretty in pink the breakfast club and oh 16 candles yeah. he actually wrote for that and he helped direct um like oh yeah ferris bueller's day off he helped write for that and kind of a fun fact the interior of the McAllister's home is actually not what it looks like in the interior of that actual house because that house is a real place in like Illinois, even though it's supposed to be set in Chicago. Yeah. But it's in Illinois. But the ends of like the interior shots, that was actually built in the gymnasium of that same school that they used for those films I just mentioned. For Breakfast Club and Wow, that's amazing. Did you know that actually the actor um, Daniel Stern, the taller uh, robber in that yeah. in the movie? Yeah, him. He did a lot of his own stunts. Cool. Like, you know that part where he's actually going through the window and he steps on all those ornaments? Yeah, that's actually him. He actually stepped on all of those. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, they told him at first that they were just going to use just like a fake spider. And they did use a bit of a fake spider when the spider was being thrown off. But when they actually put the spider on his face, that was the real tarantula. And that scream is actually a real scream. And not only that, but when he was poking his head through the dog door and bringing it back out, he actually like broke his nose on the little rim of the dog door Oof. in the kitchen. Like he actually, he got hurt a couple times, but he was doing his own stunts. He didn't really take an iron to the face, did he? No, that was, no, that was just makeup. <laughs> okay. No, no, if someone actually took an iron to the face, I'm pretty sure they would have a concussion and would not be able to actually act. So there's one last fun fact that I want to share, and it's about the photo of Buzz's girlfriend that Kevin finds in his chest. Yeah. So everyone remembers that scene where Kevin pulls out a little photo of this girl, that's just like a ch like a chubby girl with braces, and she's smiling like this. Kevin goes, "Oh, Buzz, your girlfriend, Wolf." And kind of an interesting fun fact: that picture is actually not of a girl. Um, that's actually the art director's son just dressed up like that to look like a girl because the reason why they did that is they didn't want to put that on a picture of an actual real little girl and make that little girl feel bad. Yeah. So instead they just put it on a little boy and made the little boy feel bad. <laughs> I say you guys should definitely watch Home Alone and Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> Tune in every Friday for more nerdy stuff and trivia from us, your couple of nerds, only on Halloween C.